I got tagged in a video. This is how we danced back in my day. Hola book friends, today we are doing the Meet Your Community tag. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Lana. I was tagged by Lena at Sufficiently Advanced Lena. I love her videos so much, she is just you go Glen Coco she's honest and she's just badass and I want to be friends IRL I feel like once you're tagged in something on booktube like it's kind of a big deal well it's a big deal for me okay I'm just gonna go straight into these questions okay name I am Lana I also go by mum mama banana and Lenny my friends know me as Elshank Redemption Llama Lama Del Rey, Dewu Lanos, and I think that's it. I have another one that I'm not so proud of, but it's essentially my name spelled backwards, so yeah. Where are you from? So I was born and bred in the capital of New Zealand, Windy Old Wellington, also known as Wellywood, because we, we? <laughs> not we, because the Lord of the Rings trilogy was filmed there, and also The Hobbit. And I now live in Australia. It's hot! Damn hot! Real hot! Pets. Okay, so I have a ragdoll cross manx named Melvin. He's a bit of an asshole, and he's just so cute. I wanted a white cat and James wanted a black cat. I said okay we can get a black cat but it has to have white mittens. So I got a cat with white mittens. I think he was just meant to be ours. Most binge worthy Netflix show. I really enjoyed Castlevania, loved it. I've been spending most of my time reading the last couple of months, so I haven't really binged anything. I don't know anything that's new. When I did binge watch a lot of TV, my favourites to binge were the originals, not Vampire Diaries because Elena just annoyed the shit out of me. <laughs> I really loved Klaus and it's set in New Orleans and that is honestly made oh, I want to go there so bad so I did like the originals shameless the American version as well I binged on that until it got really unhealthy because I don't know what it is but I take on characteristics of characters when I watch them or read them I guess I took on a little Frank I wasn't drinking because I don't really drink but like I was just a mess not a good place to be in mentally so I had to stop binging that for a while. Instant by author. Ooh, that's a tough one. I think it would have to be Kelly St. Clair. She is just, I love her. She's an indie author and I'm all about supporting indie. And I love pretty much everything that she's ever written. And I've read everything she's ever written. So I read her very first, her debut novel last month as well. So if you want to hear me talk about it, it's in my April wrap up. Hobbies besides books, mixed martial arts, in particular Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, absolutely love it. I would really love to learn capoeira, it's such a beautiful dance fight form, it's just awesome. Random fact most people don't know, three out of four of my kids are named after fictional characters. Akia is a mix between Alia and Akasha who is the Queen of the Damned in Anne Rice books and Alia played Akasha in the movie Queen of the Damned. My son is Jadakiss and his name is Atticus from To Kill a Mockingbird with a J on it. So my daughter Atlantis, go figure where her name came from. I've always been fascinated by mythology, particularly Greek and the story of Atlantis. I wanted her to have like a Grecian sounding name but I didn't want it to be like Athena or Aphrodite or anything like that and all of the other Greek names are just so hard to say or super super common. We came up with Atlantis. I fell in love with it straight away and so she became Atlantis. My youngest who you guys have seen is Zola. She is not named after any literature. I drew the short straw on that one and my partner was adamant on her name. She had to be named after a Chelsea football club great. So if you know anything about football in Chelsea, her name is Zola, so 
favorite bookish nerdy swag. I don't have any now because there is just no room. Back when I lived in New Zealand, my bookish nerdy swag was katanas. I used to collect swords. When I moved to Australia, I had to get rid of them all, including my life blade, which I was very, very sad about. <laughs> it still hurts a little bit thinking about it. Oh, Favorite new booktubers. There are so many. Obviously, I absolutely love Sufficiently Advanced Lena, who tagged me in this. Thank you, girl. I also really love Books and Violets. She is the absolute cutest. Her editing is next level. She's just so cute. And I get mad little sister vibes from her. Like, I want to adopt her into my family and be like, okay, you're my little sister now. I look after you and protect you. On my channel, you would have seen Susan is Reading. She is another one of my favorites. Um, every time she posts anything, I get a notification. I'm like, <laughs> she is funny and sweet and honest. I really connect to her not like other girlsness because I too am not like other girls and we're not like other girls together. She's really relatable. Like she just feels like your BFF. Like at the end of her videos, she says, love you. And I swear to God, if she isn't talking to me and me alone when she says that, so yeah, I love Susan. She knows this. It's time to tag. Yes. So many people that I would have tagged have already done this tag. So I'm having a little bit of difficulty. I want to tag Kaz Ricker, Books and Violet, Susan is Reading, and I look forward to seeing what y'all write. And that about wraps it up.